Okay, first of all, sorry guys, my voice is going. I've been fighting this cold for a while now, but uh, I've wanted to get this video done for about six months. I've had all my testing done and everything for a while. I just haven't gotten around to doing the video yet. So here it is. We're going to talk about using multiple graphics cards or GPUs in the same system to try to enhance OBS. See how this pans out. Okay, so first off, I'm not talking about getting a second graphics card for encoding. That's a complete waste of time and money. It makes zero sense at all. And here's why. I'm going to show you a modern graphics card. Yeah, that's modern all right. So say this part is the part that renders your frames per second in games. That's the same part that OBS uses to put all your overlays and everything together. It does not use that part to actually encode and send out to Twitch. That is a dedicated little chip that its sole job is for encoding. And all the modern GPUs, all the modern graphics cards now have this built in. So it's not taking away your frames per second to encode. Getting a second graphics card to do encoding means that this graphics card is doing all the work and whatnot. Then it has to send it through the PCI and up to the other graphics card and it does encoding. It actually is less efficient to do it that way. So with that out of the way, how can a second graphics card help? Well, like I was telling you, this part will say renders the frames per second in games. It also is responsible for your Windows desktop. It's responsible for all the compositing in OBS, like I said, where it takes your overlays and your gameplay and mashes it all together for your final frame. And that's the frames per second in OBS. Now, if you're noticing that your frames per second in OBS are dropping because your game is hogging too much, uh, too many resources, then, uh, then that's going to create issues. You're going to get a stuttering stream. What I'm wondering is, can we run two graphics cards, one dedicated to OBS and the other one dedicated to games? And are we going to see a performance boost? Now, I did something a little bit different here too. It's you, you really shouldn't do this. I just tested it with running the graphics card game output into uh, an Elgato uh, HD60 Pro. That makes no sense to do it that way, but we did it anyways. Um, so that way we wouldn't need to use the actual game capture uh, between the two cards and commun communicate between the cards. It's just the card into the Elgato and that's plugged into OBS. It may work, it may not, but we're going to get into this here. I'm going to show you guys first how to set up two graphics cards so that OBS uses one and your game uses the other. So for my testing, I used a dual monitor setup. I had my GTX 1050 going to one monitor my GTX 1080 Ti going to another one to figure out which one the software has designated as display number one and display number two. We right click on the Windows desktop, go to display settings and we click identify. Then you can see which monitor is connected to which GPU. At this point, I have monitor number two, which is connected to my 1050 as my primary display, as my main display. So any programs I open right now that are going to use the GPU will stay running on this GPU. So let's open up OBS. And you'll see as OBS loads, we're now using GPU zero for OBS. Now that we have OBS locked onto GPU number zero, which is our 1050, it's time for us to make our 1080 Ti our primary graphics card. So we're gonna go back into display settings. We're gonna go to display number one, which is attached to the 1080 Ti and make it the main display. Now, any games we open at this point will be run on the 1080 Ti while OBS is still using the 1050. For this test, I'm using the Heaven benchmark. Now that this is opened up, you can see that the 1080 Ti is being loaded by the Heaven benchmark. If we switch over to processes again, we can see that the Unigen engine is running on GPU number one, which is our 1080 Ti, while OBS is still running on GPU number zero which is our 1050. So now we've separated the two graphics cards. They're each performing their own tasks. How can we make OBS pick up the game output on the 1080 Ti? It's actually not that hard. Just add game capture. Select the game that you want to capture. But we run into a bit of a problem. It's a blank screen. Remember that we are using multiple GPUs. So we have to check that setting. SLI Crossfire Capture Mode. Click OK. And now we can capture the output of the 1080 Ti in OBS using the 1050 to render it. Well, now we've proven that this works. Is it worth it? Let's check out the benchmarks.
So as you can see, the results are all over the place. Sometimes it, you get marginal performance increases, and most of the time though, it's no difference or worse, where you can't even capture the game at all. And it completely depends on the game, whether it's a DirectX 11 title, DirectX 12, Vulkan, OpenGL, or the game itself. As we saw, there was different, different titles using the same API and they performed differently. So because of that inconsistency and because of that extra cost, what I highly recommend you do, if you're having troubles playing the games at the frame rates you want while maintaining the frame rates you want in OBS, you're better off to sell your existing card and upgrade to something like the new RTX cards where not only do you get better performance, but you get the new NVENC encoder chip. Remember that thing we were talking about right there? Which will not only give you better performance, but it'll be better quality for your stream as well. And that's it for this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully it cleared up some of the confusion around running multiple GPUs and, and what it actually does for a content creator. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check me out every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific for the Hump Day Help Stream, where I help you guys with your stream tech live. And we do troubleshooting live and technical reviews of your streams. Thanks for watching. And always remember the key to happiness is...